Hey guys! Um, oh my god, it feels like such a long time since I last did a video. It's really weird. It's only been like two, three weeks, I think. Um, no, it must have been like a month since I last recorded, but two weeks since I last uploaded. Um, as you can tell, I've got a cold, so my voice sounds really stupid. Don't laugh. I'm really sorry at how it sounds. But um, I finally got time to film today, so I am filming, obviously. Um, okay, so as you can tell, this video is a makeup haul. Uh, majority of it's high end. I've got a little bit that's not high end, but I thought I'd bung it in here because it's worth showing because it's cute as frick. Um, a little disclaimer thing none of this stuff was sent to me. Obviously, I bought it all with my own money, and then a lot of it is <laughs> it makes like I hate not hate. I feel like if I do a haul, people are gonna be like, oh my god, you're showing off. I'm not, I just, you know, it's nice to show people what I've got. And, um, yeah, my student loan came in, my wages came in, and I haven't bought stuff since, like, April. So, yes, I am excited to finally have some good makeup. So, I have it all in this bag here, but, um, it's not all MAC, there's loads of different stuff. So, I'm just gonna pull stuff out and we'll get going. So, the first thing I have is Urban Decay First Hit Travel Kit. And I thought this was a really good idea because you get four products in one kit and it's £15. Obviously they're not full size products but they're samples. And I really wanted to try out the eye primer and the all night setting spray and they're both in here. So for £15 that's a really good deal. So you get the eyeshadow primer potion in original 24-7 glide on eye pencil in demolition, perversion mascara and all night and makeup setting spray. The only thing I don't like is the eyeliner you get is in Demolition, which is the brown shade. I have no need for a brown eyeshadow, eyeshadow, eyeliner. I've not even used it, I don't know what it looks like. There's a swatch of that. Maybe I'll use it to fill in my eyebrows. Maybe, yeah. I, I don't use brown eyeliner, so maybe I'll try that on my brows. Mascara, I love. Um, I've got it on today, not that you can really see, because I'm kind of too far away from camera. But um, it doesn't make my eyelashes feel clumpy, which I love. Um, the primer potion, the eye primer, I really like. It's a tiny, diddy little sample, but it seems to hold my makeup on well. And the setting spray I love because I found it mattifying. My sister said she found it quite dewy, which I don't get, but I felt like the finish was really matte when I tried it, so I really liked that. Um, the next thing in here is an Illamasqua product. Um, it is, I think it's supposed to be an eyeshadow. Yeah, an eyeshadow in the colour Cascade. If you haven't heard of this, it's amazing. So it's a colour change eyeshadow. So this is the packaging that comes in, this little square thingy. It says, oh no, it's got a little El Masca logo on there. And then when you open it up, the product's in there. So as you can see, it's white. But then when you swatch it, it goes can't see it, it's a shimmery blue colour. It's amazing, this colour change range. They have another eyeshadow but I don't remember what it's called and I, it's like a, a brownie colour but I don't know what colour it turns to. I just saw the white and then it went to this like icy like colour and I was like that's going to be an amazing highlight. I've not used this yet so I can't comment on how good it is but just the fact that it colour changes and it's, it's not like a shiny highlight, it's like a glowy highlight which I really like. And that was $16.50, which I thought was really good because I thought it was going to be a lot more expensive than that. The next thing is another little one-off, and it is Benefit's Professional Primer. Um, it's not a full-size one. I bought this from Boots, and it is... I'll show you the size if I can open it. It's this size. So it's like a, a sample, but not a sample, if you know what I mean. And this was £9, which is really good, and you get quite a lot of product in there. I'm not sure exactly how much product I think it says. Oh, 7.5 millilitres or 0.25 fluid ounces. Um, but I've used it two or three times and I've still got loads of product in there. And I really like this. I don't think it gives me the best base, but I love how soft my skin feels when I use it. <laughs> um, next up, I'll show you the bits I got from MAC. I only picked up two bits. I got the Pro Longwear Powder in light. I just asked for the lightest shade. There is extra light. The extra light has bronzing pigments in it which make it darker than the light one which is a bit annoying and it just looks like that. Really light. I don't feel like it does a lot but it's got like a subtle coverage which is nice. 
And then I picked up a, this one is a repurchase, as is the last product. And this is the MAC Haughty and Naughty 2 Black Lash. So it's the, the dual wand, so you can open this side and then open this side like separately, you know what I mean? Um, I really like this mascara, it does a really good job. Um, although, I think I prefer the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, so once I've used this one up, I think that'll be the next one I purchase from the Urban Decay one. The next bits I've got are all from Kat Von D, as it's finally available in the UK. I waited so long. Um, there was three key things I wanted to get from Kat Von D. This was not one of them. This was bought on a whim, and I'm so glad I bought it because I'm so in love. This is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. Um, contour quad in smoke is that the one? yes in smoke and so it looks like this it's a little ditty palette and then the packaging is adorable on the back it tells you the shades and then inside is so beautiful and then on the mirror it's got like stuff all the way around <laughs> you can see it Pandora box it's got like stuff all the way around the mirror it's so beautiful and these are the shades, and I love this shade as a contour shade, and I love this grey shade as a contour shade, and the black is divine. Um, I don't remember how much the palette was, it was around £23 I think, but just incredible. Unfortunately, um, the Debenhams local to me doesn't have it in store, so I can only get it online, but that's fine by me. Um, the next one is a Kat Von D Everlasting Lip Lip Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Witches, which is the black shade, and I've worn this several times, and I am in love with this. The packaging is so beautiful. You can see that really like ornate detailing there, it's so pretty. And I mean, it's a black li liquid lipstick, you just can't go wrong. And that is what it looks like, very pretty. Um, I got another liquid lipstick um, in the shade Exorcism, which is what I'm wearing now, just in case you want to know what it looks like on. Um, again, gorgeous bottle, but this time you can see it better because it's um, not black, so you can see the designs better. Um, these were only £16, which I thought was really good. Um, I'll definitely be getting some more of these. And I do find that Exorcism this one here holds better than um, Witches. I think it's the black pigment is really hard to hold, I've heard, so Exorcism holds better. Um, and the last thing I've got from Kat Von D is the Locket Foundation. So you get 30 millilitres or one fluid ounce, and this was, I believe, £27. The packaging itself, before you even see the makeup, is gorgeous. This is what the foundation looks like, so pretty, and then it's got this little Kat Von D stopper thing that you take off and then you pump out the foundation. I generally say one and a half pumps does, like, is enough for me. I'm wearing it now. I'm so impressed with the shade. This is in light 42, so the lightest shade that they do. I am in love. This is, if you're looking for a hella fabulous goth foundation, this is the one. I know it's a lot to pay for a foundation if you generally shop high street, high street drugstore but I would I think it's worth the 27 although if you do have quite dry skin I wouldn't recommend it my skin's a little bit dry at the moment where I'm really ill and it's getting colder I don't know if you can see but it's not holding too well to these dry patches um, but when my skin's not dry it's amazing so I wouldn't recommend for dry skin um, now the last bits I have aren't high end. Oh, why is there a little sample of Urban Decay foundation? Nice. Um, the next bits I have aren't high end, but I wanted to show you because it's another thing that's just come out in the UK, and I'm so excited. And it is the brand NYX. If you haven't heard of it and you're in, you're in the UK, check it out. They sell it at Boots now. I definitely recommend it. It's amazing. Um, if you have heard of it and you're in America, I'm so jealous. <laughs> like literally, I had to go to London for this. My local Boots is supposed to have it in store, but they haven't received, they've received all the makeup, but they haven't received the stand to put the makeup on. They waited like two months and were like, 
let's just send it back to the head office so that no time soon is there going to be nicks available near me which is a pain but i was in london last weekend for a fetish event and so we went to oxford street and i managed to get some makeup there i haven't even opened these packets yet um so the first one to show you is a nyx soft matte lip cream in okay in havana um i'll open it up for you It's this really cool bright purple shade and I love my favorite thing about NYX is the color range it's so incredible it's so much better than you would get in um, normal drug street drug I can't speak normal drugstore brands the color range is just incredible so the next shade I got is in Moscow and it is a navy blue color again I just love the color range from NYX. The formula is not like I've seen before, it seems a lot thicker than a normal lip product, that's the shade there. They're just so cool and these were I think about £5 each, maybe a little bit less, maybe four fifty around that kind of mark. Um, the next one is a cult favourite, the Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. So I've heard so many things about this product, I thought I have to try it out. Um, yeah, so I'll give it a little swap, even though I'm sure you've all seen it, and it's so creamy. Oh, I'm too pale. No! Can you even see that? Oh, there. There you go, now you can see it. <laughs> That's the pencil in milk. I'm just too damn pale for that. Maybe it'll be a highlight, even though it's not shimmering. Shut up, Liz. Yeah, that. <laughs> Uh, the jumbo pencil was five pounds and this is the last thing i got from nyx and it is a what are they just uh, a hot singles eyeshadow apparently in shade 43 which is sos and looks like this it's a gorgeous shade you can't really see it on my hand um, you, there you can kind of see that brownie color and I'm going to be using this for a contour colour because I think it's really pretty and I've heard good things about that one online. So that's all the makeup I bought over the last three weeks I think. Um, comment down below, tell me what your favourite thing you've seen in the video was, tell me if you have any of these things, what you think about them and also let me know in the Kat Von D range which liquid lipsticks are amazing because I definitely want more. I hope you enjoyed watching, sorry if this video was really long and weird because I'm ill, let's just blame it on that. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!